so she should get twice the amount. Exactly. Okay, so uh, my name is Alicia and I'm doing a documentary on various issues and concerns. Do I have your permission to air your image on multiple media outlets? Yes, yes. And um, I pulled the camera out because I asked you both to be part of my panel for um, our conversation and end stigma towards people with disabilities. Um, and I thought it was really interesting because I mentioned the um, event or the ex incident that I just did on the bus 47 about the wheelchair and um, people with disabilities. And then you mentioned the invisible disabilities. Yes. Yeah. So could you just talk on that for me, please? And introduce yourself first. I'm Deborah Brown, and I have what they consider an invisible disease. I have end-stage renal failure, which means my kidneys are gone. They are news to me. Um, and people don't see it. I get tired. Sometimes I can't walk. I can't function. And they can't see it. And because they can't see it, they don't know. Well, I didn't get up from this seat because I needed it. So unless I'm walking with, physically walking with a cane, I don't get the response and the help I need when I need it. And I think that's what the lady on the bus was trying to say also. And then Ella Melanie, um, your story is really, really um, touching me. Like when I first met you, when I seen you come to that door, I said, oh, yeah, she's my star for this panel um, because you move with such grace, but you command the space that you're in, right? And then you lost your sight, and you told me you just lost your sight uh, recently. So I felt like you would be a powerhouse for the panel because um, the work that you do, and you didn't let the fact that you lost your sight stop you from being you and coming through that door like the powerhouse you are. Yes, so I thank you for that, and I am Elder Melanie DeBose, and I am the Director of Children's Mission. I am also the Pastor of Evangel Chapel, which both of, of which are located in this building here at 2200-08 Germantown Avenue. I am recently um, blind, as of September of 2016, I got a diagnosis a few years ago, and um, we were taking precautions to avoid this impending blindness, but as it turns out in September, I went what I call dark. So we have had to navigate. First, we had to make a decision as to whether or not life should go on, and then um, what the quality of that life would be. So by the grace of God, we were able to come to the conclusion that life has to go on, and what I often say to God is that I need my eyes, but he doesn't. So some of the things that I've experienced is just one, the challenges in the healthcare system of not one, having adequate healthcare insurance. And that threw up a lot of roadblocks that I think exacerbated my situation. I say to the doctors that were in, whose care I was in, that when I came to you, I could see. And now I can't. And there seems to have been a misstep because absent of the right kind of insurance, I couldn't get the kind of care that I needed to absolutely prevent my problem, which was at some point prevented. The total blindness was prevented. So I find myself in a position of trying to um, continue in ministry as per my instructions from God, continue in ministry without sight. And I'm a very hands-on, detail-oriented, process-oriented, product-oriented person, and it's difficult to execute any of those without sight. So we've had to really um, be intentional about engaging others to get on board and do part of the work. I will tell you that I'm a teacher by trade. I have just over 30 years of experience in the public education system. I have been in community service all of my life. So the challenge is, one, to navigate my spaces as a blind person, and then to see how I incorporate what it is I do, not see in a seeing world. Very different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding so, so many, many 
different mentality, different mentality today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems it challenging. Seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a else challenge. Is a challenge. Um, so, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready for this ready challenge. For this challenge. Yeah. And I was built, I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think that we all have a purpose in life. And mine's, and mine's is going to take on a test that most that most of uh, back away back from. Away from. That impossible, impossible. Say people say it's impossible. I see possibilities.